I finally tested the motion clarity of my CRT with this new uh, Blur Busters Law knowledge that we have. And it's perfect. <laughs> so basically, my eyes are not fast enough to find the limits of the motion clarity of my CRT. My eyes are not fast enough. The screen is not big enough for me to be able to eye track at a faster speed. So basically, at 1920, so 1920 pixels per second, at 75 hertz, so the, the UFO test is like this. <laughs> it's so fast on the screen. I, I can barely eye track that, but I see the alien eyes. I still see the alien eyes. The pupils are perfect. So if my eyes cannot find the limits of the motion clarity of my display, I would call that perfect. <laughs> There's no other definition. If your perception cannot find any defects, we can call that perfect. So we've been talking about how can we get the perfect motion clarity. We need, you know, 1,000, 4,000, 8,000 hertz at 4K. And man, we have this technology where you don't need more than 75 frames per second. You can get 85. Maybe some people might argue that they can they can see some flickering at 75 hertz okay just get 85 that's that's fine get 85 hertz you're not going to see any difference in terms of motion clarity or input lag because that's the other thing the input lag is just perfect like you cannot find any any problem with the input lag it's absolutely perfect so what if i tell you that there's a new display technology a brand new display technology that is going to come out is going to look sharp at any resolution so feel free to type in any resolution you want any refresh rate it's not gonna matter from 75 Hertz to 140 to 200 Hertz the motion clarity is gonna be the same because you cannot tell the difference the input lag is gonna be the same because you cannot tell the difference you would say man why would I spend two thousand dollars on a GPU <laughs> to play on that display if I can just lower the resolution Play at 75 frames per second and have perfect motion clarity, perfect sharpness. And also, that display has amazing black levels. <laughs> so the blacks are also very good. So the contrast, they say that the contrast on the CRT uh, are, is not very uh, high. But the perceived contrast is very good because the black levels are deep. So... If I tell you that this display technology is coming, would you be excited about it? I would be over the moon <laughs> and I don't care. I couldn't care less if you tell me, but you know the downside is going to be that it's going to be a big and heavy display. I don't care. <laughs> I couldn't care less. I don't care if it, if it uses 300, 500 watts, I couldn't care less. If it weights a hundred pounds, okay, I do exercise. I don't care, man. So to eliminate this technology is a crime, a crime against gamers because this is, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, this is the best technology ever created for gaming. Nothing comes even close. So in the future, okay, in the future, we are going to have 1000 Hertz and even beyond that displays and we're going to have Nvidia DLSS uh, 5 8 with uh, doing motion interpolation reprojection you know all of the techniques to give you this motion clarity and to give you good responsiveness but we are not there yet okay so for today today you can get 60 or 75 frames per second on your games there's nothing that comes even close to what the CRT can do. And after having these qualities, I couldn't care less about anything else. I don't talk to me about color gamut, HDR. I don't care. HDR is amazing. Okay, It looks amazing. But for gaming, this level of fluidity and responsiveness is 
you cannot replace that for HDR and blurring. You cannot. So if you can give me HDR at 1000 frames per second, amazing responsiveness, I would take that 100% any day. But you cannot compare the blurriness that you get, I mean the OLED, at 120 hertz doesn't come even close to this at 60. Okay, not it's not even on the same realm. This is alien technology. Okay, so yeah, man, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we lost so much, so much that I do, I cannot understand how this happens. I I cannot understand how can we create. This is one of the first display technologies that we humans created. How can we just knock it out of the park with the first <laughs> invention and then just go backwards from there? It's like insane. Absolutely insane. I, do, I really don't understand what happened. How, how they replace these CRTs for absolute garbage LCDs. I, I cannot really understand. I don't understand. And don't tell me the environment. I couldn't care less. <laughs> I don't care. This is a premium product for gaming. Okay. If you want to have office uh, buildings full of LCDs because they are cheap, that's okay. <laughs> you don't need picture quality for that. That's okay. Save the planet. But me playing games, I'm not saving the planet. Okay. I don't care if I have to spend 1,000 watts or more or less. I, it's completely irrelevant to me. I don't care. I'm not going to destroy the planet by playing video games. There are things that <laughs> affect that. Um, there are a lot more important. So, yeah, man. I really wish... Yeah, I really wish they come back, man. Because even if we can get... Um, you know, DLSS, motion interpolation technologies, very high refresh rates uh, with OLEDs or with a different uh, display technology, even if we can get that, we can still get less, frame, less frames and, and, and achieve the same motion clarity and responsiveness. So I have a, I have a video coming called The Future of Gaming based on information that I got from Bloodbusters. And what is the direction that we are going? And those high refresh rate displays and the things that they are testing right now. Super interesting how they are achieving 4K 1000 Hertz today. That is being tested today. And that's fascinating. And I have a video coming about that. But still, you need like 100 frames at least. So you don't need high frame rates on the CRT. You can you can try. It might look you know more fluid to you. I don't I don't I don't see how. It it, it just the motion clarity at 75 is just perfect. It doesn't get any better but than that for your eyes at this resolution. So the input lag doesn't improve any either. So today, for today, to play games today, there's nothing better than this man. Nothing's better. So yeah. It's, I just don't understand. I love HDR. And that's the only justification that I see to try to push those high refresh rates. Because sample and whole HDR, high refresh rate, that's the future. And that's the best picture quality we will ever get. Imagine 4K display that's 4000 Hertz and you're getting 4000 frames per second on your game on HDR. The peak brightness of the display is 10,000 nits, perfect black levels, you know, full BT 2020 coverage, like something really insane. That's going to look absolutely amazing, but we are not there yet. We are not there yet. We don't have those technologies today. So today we have HDR. It looks like a blurry mess because 120 frames per second on a sample and hold display is not enough. It's not enough. It's not even close. So today, this is the king. And it's just a shame that it is dead, man. I don't know who killed it or, you know, what the conditions on why that happened. 
but in my opinion it's just a crime an absolute crime against gamers because this in my opinion is the best display ever created for gaming so yeah let me know <laughs> your thoughts and opinions and yeah I, I feel so strong about this every time I turn on the CRT it is sad infuriating is yeah it's a combination of feelings and yeah I'm going to also do a follow-up to the motion clarity video about the plasma TV because I got some feedback very good feedback uh, from uh, some of you that tested your own plasma TV so I'm going to do uh, another video about that about the plasma TV the plasma doesn't come even close to the CRT but because the screen size can be so much bigger it, it was not a terrible idea okay it was a huge downgrade <laughs> for sure but it was not a terrible idea but LCD we're not there yet <laughs> See, we're, we're just not there so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions